In one of the most southwesterly points of Ireland, where the rocks are carved by powerful storms, between the sheltered waters of the Port McGee Channel and the wild North Atlantic Ocean, there once lived one of Ireland's most important biologists. Maud Jane Delap, a pioneering, self-thought marine biologist, moved to Valencia Island from Donegal with her family. There, while her brothers were sent away to school, she was educated at home with her sisters and went on to devote her life to observing and studying her natural environment and the animals that inhabited it. Maud and her sister Constance made internationally important contributions to marine biology, in spite of only having a rudimentary laboratory that they set up in their house in Knightstown. While they may have lived in one of the most remote parts of Europe, they were part of a busy community of miners, fishers, farmers, cable station employees and all sorts of other professions. Far from being isolated, they corresponded with museums in Dublin and London, sending records and samples to them, and they collaborated with some of the biggest names in natural science at the time. They also hosted research groups who visited the island to study its fascinating natural habitats and wildlife. While they happily made records of interesting plants, insects and birds, they were particularly focused on marine life. They encouraged local people to alert them of anything unusual that washed ashore or turned up in fishing nets and were perfectly located where the North Atlantic regularly bought them strange and unique finds such as deep sea whales and turtles. Some of these specimens are still on display in our museums today. The Delaps used their small rowing boat to regularly take samples from the nearby waters building up records of the local plankton that span nearly three decades. This work is still referenced by scientists today. Their biggest contribution, however, was the study of jellyfish. Maud Delap reared compass jellyfish through their full, fascinating life cycle in her home laboratory, documenting each stage in detail. It is believed that this was entirely new to science and something that prestigious scientists at the time had failed to do. Maud and Constance continued throughout their adult lives to contribute to scientific breakthroughs and were supported in their work from afar from leading museums and scientists who maintained correspondence with these pioneering women in their homemade laboratory on the edge of Europe. Thank you.